At this hour, the mad rush for most has died down as people settle in for what will be a busy day tomorrow filled with food, family, and lots of fun. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us live tonight with a look at those tying up loose ends. John? Yeah, Danita, there's no question about it. There is no place like home for the holidays. The problem is all the stuff you got to get done beforehand, including getting there. When you think of Thanksgiving, you may think of this, Norman Rockwell's classic image of Americana. But what Norman didn't capture on canvas was this, or this, or this. The reality that finds the day before Thanksgiving as hectic as the holiday itself is relaxing. Just ask the folks braving area supermarkets tonight. It's kind of a madhouse in there. I'd rather not get caught up at the last minute, but you know how it is. Everybody's got to grab the last few minute items. But it's a hassle, some say, as part of the whole Thanksgiving experience. It's the thrill of just seeing everybody just getting what they need here. You don't, so you don't mind the crowds? No, I don't mind the crowd at all. It adds to the it, holiday atmosphere. Yeah, it makes, makes me feel good. That's probably because he wasn't on the highway. AAA says the number of travelers is at its highest level since 2007. Not that we had to tell Steve that. Slow, traffic moving, super slow. He drove up from Cincinnati and got stuck in Columbus. He'll head back on Saturday because traffic on Sunday? I think it should be brutal. That's why we're leaving Saturday. I, I think you're going to see a lot of traffic. Donald agrees. This day gets the attention, but Sunday's the worst. Hectic. I think it's going to be real hectic. Is that where you're going back Saturday? Exactly. And that's because while travel today is kind of spread out, the rush to get home on Sunday is more condensed than the goodwill and good cheer, not quite as present. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kasich, News Channel 5.